2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. Hello, I'm Luke Elvey alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Yes, but they certainly have to make the most of every moment they get, because there'll be very few today. Fire up. This is a big rivalry, this one. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Going with the pitching wedge here. And this player seems to not be too intimidated having Justin Thomas in their group today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Right over the spot they were looking at. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. The second, a short par four. One that the players like to take on these days, Rich. A good birdie look here. They do. It used to be where you laid back on top of the hill and took a wedge, nine iron sometimes for your second shot. But a lot of players now are challenging that bunker down the right hand side, getting as far down there as possible and just having a flick with a sand wedge in for their seconds. That a boy. Good shot. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Always love these opportunities especially when it's for birdie. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. And the players left with an opportunity to get up and down here from the sand. Oh, almost went in. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. There are so many stunning golf holes on this entire property. And this third, the par three downhill, certainly one of the elite holes on the course. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful. Can be extremely painful to play. Downhill all the way when they tuck the pin over on the left-hand side, forget about it. Never hit it there. Only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim. Other than that, center the green all day long. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. One of the hardest holes on the entire property is the par four fourth ridge. It is a strong demanding hole right from tee to green. Nice tee shot here. A little bit more room to the right than the players really feel like there is. However, that also brings a rough on the right-hand side of the play, and you don't want to be there, especially with this green that's set right back against the canyon. It's a difficult second shot, almost an infinite edge pool look, if you will. You really have to bear down and make sure you have a good idea of your distance control on your second shot. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the five iron here. 
This one looks like it's going right. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. This is important. Big par putt here. And there it is. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That's frustrating. Let's take a look at the current standings. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. There's a real premium on your tee shots here at Torrey Pine South Course, keeping ball in fairways critical, and that is illustrated also by the par four fifth. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back toward you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. Oh, absolutely flushed. Second shot here on the fifth. Opting for the 9-iron. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. <laughs> Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. A spot in the top ten awaits if they can make this putt. You can mark it down, that's birdie number four today. And with that, he'll move to four under par. He finds himself in a share of seventh. Rich, there are a number of strong holes on this outward half, but the par five sixth. The players are definitely thinking birdie here, but it's all set up by the tee shot. A nice reprieve this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left hand side and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three tiered green with a low area over on the left hand side that sees a lot of action. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. And this putt to move into the top five. That is hunting for the hole. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Wall hold. To the top five he goes. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This would be a great up and down. <laughs> Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage.
The par four seventh, a little dog leg left to right. Again, positioning of the tee is key. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. Wonderfully played. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. High pressure moment here. This for a share of the lead. It's got a chance. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for Birdie. And with that, He'll move to seven under. Incredible. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. We head up the hill away from the ocean here at the eighth hole, Rich. A lovely par three, but all the challenges in the green. It is. It's very wide, not very deep. Players going in there with kind of mid irons to short irons. Uphill the entire way. Difficult to get it on that back level when they stick the pin all the way on top. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. And look out, guys. This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. OK, step one complete. Out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. A par putt awaits. Go on. Get in the hole. That's impressive. Way to dig your way out of a hole. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. The par 5 ninth is a monster over 600 yards, Rich. Challenging, to say the least. I think the challenging part about it, Luke, is it's just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really is just that simple and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it, but for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. Good shot there, Beamer. Sitting at minus seven. Currently tied for top spot. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Time for the fifth shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And Rich, as we make the turn, I'm interested in your thoughts on this player's performance so far. Yeah, good spot, isn't it? I got to say, I'd rather be in the lead or tied for the lead than in the chasing pack. Gives you just a little margin of error should you have one, but I got to say, this player is awfully solid.
from about 130 yards here. Currently tied for the lead. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. A birdie putter waits. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. There aren't too many easy holes here at Torrey Pines South, but the course certainly gets tougher as we head to the par 3 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf, top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. This putt. It was about eight feet. That will drop and it will extend the lead. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Rich, that's the special stuff. What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker up and in the hole nicely done our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage we head to the 12th hole this par four is as big and as strong and as tough as you find anywhere on the pga tour this is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet prevailing wind coming right back into the players you just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there you're going in with a mid to long iron sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you not a ton of movement but enough from back right to front left to make you think Getting ready to play their third. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Oh, so close. And that should secure the par on this one. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Didn't that look good for a long time? Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Great touch. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. All right, Rich, the par 5 13th, so much has been said about it. I'm interested in your thoughts. This is one of the most interesting par 5s you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. You liked that, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Currently, in the lead by a shot. And 11 under in front of the player with this putt. Mm. 
What a putt. Started this perfectly. Well played. Now leading by one shot. Time to face a par four. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. This shot is about 140 yards out. He leads the field by a stroke. This one heading towards the green. Big time play that one, Beamer. Yes, got to think that's a certain birdie from there. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Ooh. Nicely played. Good shot. And back to the play, shall we? What an opportunity to make a birdie. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. We stride across the 15th, Rich, and we talk about strong par fours. This is another one. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Going with the hybrid. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Just three feet to the cup. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. He sits in first position. Sixteenth, the last of the par threes on this golf course, but it's not an easy one. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two-putt, to say the least.
it's just inside the range. Never seen a school car that doesn't look good with a two on it. Oh, get in. And that's a long-range bomb. And rest assured, their rival will be looking over their shoulder. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. The penultimate hole at Torrey Pines South is not a long par four, but the danger lurks everywhere. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. Always frustrated by missing a green. What's well, a strange miss there. Look, they've been hitting the greens all day long. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Now, nah, this is so good. The bunker isn't even a trap. Well, that should save them. That one from the sand. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. Out of the rough, into the hole. Thank you very much. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. Now look how they attacked this one. Currently 15 under par for the event. Well, the finishing hole here at Torrey Pines South, one of the more famous on the PGA Tour, site of so many of Tiger's wonderful victories. Par five, you can get there in two. You can, but you have to thread your drive in between those four fairway bunkers that line the fairway. From there, now you have to think, do I want to take on this flag with the bunkers right, bunkers left, and certainly the water in front? It's a daunting second shot, but if you're brave enough to take it on, then you could reap massive rewards. Nicely done. And he's down there. You got a read? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill. Bit of extra juice needed. Ooh, right by the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, 
gets that one to go down and that'll end the day's work. It's a nice way to start this tournament, opening up with